Hi, I'm Allison Pryor, and today we're going to paint this beautiful painting with a rainbow. I'm going to show you a simple, easy trick to do that rainbow and make it perfect. And I have some really nice techniques to show you highlights and to do this beautiful landscape. All right, let's get started. So all you need for this painting today are your primary colors of red, yellow, and blue. And then we have a flat synthetic brush, chiseled edge, and I have a flat um, a filbert brush, which is a chiseled edge and synthetic. And I also have a liner brush. So as you can see, I have my tape halfway. It's not halfway, it's under halfway. So as you can see, I have my tape under halfway to get this painting started. I like to start somewhere, okay? Because a lot of people ask me, I don't know where to start my painting. I don't know how to get it started. So the first thing you need to do is look at your reference photo or what you're planning on painting and start with dividing up the horizon line if you have one. If you don't, and it's just a background for still life, then you just do the whole background first and put your still life on top of it, okay? So then you pick out your brushes that you need. And uh, I introduced the brushes and paints to you earlier. So um, just, you know, pick out your paints and your brushes that you need. And then get started on your sky or your background, uh, depending on what you're looking at. And what I'm going to do is, today I'm only going to use my three colors of my... Um, today we're going to use just the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and some white. Okay? And a bit of a mess here. And uh, so three primary colors plus white. That's how we're going to do this painting today. We're going to get some beautiful colors. And I'm going to show you how to mix them, okay? So the first thing I want to do is I want to put on my sky and some clouds. And then we're going to put a beautiful rainbow here. So this main uh, painting is mainly about a rainbow, okay? So I want, because I don't, I haven't, I don't have paintings with rainbows in them. I think I did one rainbow, but um, it was different a technique than what I'm going to show you today. This is a very easy technique, and you can do lots of rainbows when you get this one done today. All right. So I'm just going to do a sky. Very simple, light, some kind of some blue, a little bit of red, and not yellow, um, and white. I'm going to make it a little darker in the corners like I like to do. Alright, just throwing it on there. Look, I even picked up a big pile of white that time. Just just the way I do it. It's just the way I do it, okay? Um, but this is how you start. Get your sky on first, okay? Leave some holes. If you, if you have a hard time with clouds, just leave some holes in your sky. That's all. Use mostly white, but up in the corners. Okay, see, and that will blend nicely. And I'm just going to darken it up in the corner a little bit. So, so just play with it. Have fun. Don't, don't struggle. Try not to struggle. Just put it on there and see what happens. And if anything goes, at least with your sky, if anything goes wrong, you can just repaint it, right? So, um, you know, be happy with what you're, and if you're not happy with it, repaint it. And that way you don't have to repaint the whole painting. You just do one piece at a time. And then when you're happy with that, then you can move on to something else. So down here, I'm going to keep it a little lighter because the sky usually... Look at the mess I'm making. Isn't that amazing? Now, what I want to do is I'm finding the paint is drying really fast on me. So I'm just going to mist it with uh, some of my Magic White, okay? I just made up my own bottle here. I have the recipe. I'll leave the link below for you. And I'm just going to mist it with my Magic White. That will keep the paint uh, wet longer and it will make it easier for me to blend my paint. Once it starts to dry, it's very difficult. But look how beautiful smooth that's coming out now. See? What a difference it makes. I, I'm not... I don't use it all the time, but I do like to use it in certain areas, like large areas, where the paint can dry fast. Okay? See? that beautiful? Let's just look. Every time I use this, it's just like I used it for the first time. I, I, as you can tell in my voice, I get really excited about it because it's white that Bob Ross and Bill Alexander used in their oil paintings. They're the ones that came up. But Bill, Bill Alexander was the one that came up with magic white. And then Bob Ross called it liquid white. And I don't know what to call it. <laughs> so I'm just calling it 
magic weight or liquid weight so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. So people will say, oh, that was the Bob Ross uh, mixture. But Bob Ross's mixture was, recipe was for oil paints and it was, there's none out there for acrylics that I know of, okay? Um, I think Bob Ross might have one, but it's a bit expensive, but you can check it out on my Amazon. But uh, this way you can, look, see that already? Now that's not bad, is it? Now you can add a bit more white to your brush and go over those spots that you just did just by painting in a little more white. Use the corner of your brush to make some circles. That will keep it soft. The magic white is making it easy to blend. Look, it's very soft. Look at that. Really nice. If any of you guys already use this magic white, my recipe, let me know in the comments if it worked for you or if you you know if it helped you. I like to know because I don't get a I, I get a lot of people say they, they used it and they loved it. They had but I don't I like to get more I like to get more feedback for that just to see because I don't want to steer you wrong or anything like that, right? Okay. Look at that. And it's different. It's, it's a different look to it, isn't it? When you leave those when you leave those openings in the sky like that, you know? Then you get some really nice clouds without even trying. Because everybody, a lot of people ask me, I can't, I'm having a really hard time painting clouds. Well, this is an easier way to paint clouds, just by leaving holes in your sky when you paint. Look, gorgeous, gorgeous. How can you not love painting? Look at the thrill you get from just painting. It's, it, it amazes you because you only got a brush and paint and look what, what happens. Isn't that gorgeous? Now I'm going to do the rainbow, but I'm going to let that dry. Now because I missed it with my magic white, it's going to take a little longer to dry, so I'm going to use a hair Now here's a trick to make the perfect rainbow. You can't go wrong. Get a, a, something round, okay? It depends on the size of your canvas. Mine's 11 by 14, so I don't need a huge... But if you've got a 16 by 20 or bigger, you're going to have to get a bigger something that's going to help you get that really beautiful round look to your rainbow. So I'm just going to use this because this would be perfect for mine, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it here and I'm going to take some chalk so that I can make that perfect round. Okay, so round, round, round we go. Make sure your chalk is dark enough. I don't have any really dark chalk, but uh, use your plate to guide you. I don't know if you can see that or not, but this is a really nice shape for a rainbow. Now all you have to do now is all you need is that one line. You can certainly put another line there if you like to. All you have to do is take your plate and then lift it up a little bit and then make another one, but I'm going to attempt it without doing that. I like to try things. So if it don't work out, we'll just I'll just take it out. So I'm going to take my flat brush, get the size of the brush that you might need. This one suits me perfect, so that's as big as I want it. But if you have a bigger canvas or even a smaller canvas, you have to adjust your brushes to the size of your canvas. So you got a bigger canvas and you want a bigger rainbow. You're going to use a bigger brush, but make sure it's flat, chiseled edge synthetic. That will be the best to work for you. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try, first of all, I'm going to try this way. Okay, I'm going to put my red here, wipe it off, all right, and then I'm going to try my yellow right next to it. Yellow, right? I'm only using a little tiny bit as you can see, right? I don't need a big lot yet. Well, I don't need a big lot, period. I don't think. We're going to find out. I'm just doing this now, trying trying it out with, you know. If this don't work, we'll come up with something else. So let's try that. So, first thing I'm going to do is take my brush 
and go through my white paint on both sides and just wipe it off like this, okay? Then I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to take that red, yellow, and blue and I'm going to drag it. And you can see already that you have a really nice rainbow, okay? See that? Everybody see that? Now I'm going to put some more white on it because I want to make sure I get enough paint picked up to go on my hair. Now I'm going to use the edge of my brush to follow that line so I try not to go too crooked. I don't want to go crooked. So because I'm standing up, I might make it a little bit of a crookedness, but and if you're right hand, you can start over here, you know, or whatever you want to do. Use that line for a guide. Pull up, use that line for a guide, follow the line. And if you even if you run out of paint, keep going, alright? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Because this way you'll be able to see. Keep going, keep going, push hard. Push, 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 keep going, keep going. Push, 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 push. All right. Now we have a pretty little rainbow. Now we just got to fill it in because we didn't, because now you have more to follow again. So all you need is more paint. Look, I'm putting lots of paint on my brush. Going through the color. And that was only a couple of little colors, wasn't it? Like I didn't have a little tiny bit, right? So now I got paint on there. And I might start from this side because this is where I lost most of the paint. As long as you follow that line. Oops, make sure your red is up. Make sure your red is up. Sorry. Keep going till we meet the center there. Because we, we're doing pretty good with that side over there, so we don't need too much. I think that looks good as it is, actually. I don't think I need more. So if you need to go over it again, you can either wait for it to dry or you can try again by putting white on your brush, going back into those colors. If they get too light, just add a little bit of red on the end of your brush and then you'll be able to pick up some more red. Or do what we did before, okay? Do what we did before. Put some red. Here, yellow, Just a little dab, a bit of yellow will do, yeah. A little bit of blue. Wipe off your brush, your, your palette knife, or a toothpick, or whatever you want to pick up your paint with, but you need something small enough so you don't get too much paint. And there, all right, that's your blue. So, there we go. And you got lots of paint, white paint on your brush. Make sure you got the red side up. Don't do what I did. And... Take that. Let's go. Um, okay, let's go this way. We're fine. Touch a brush off that. Push and pull. Push and pull. Look at all those nice colors. See that? Now you got lots of paint. And you go back and get some more white. And now you got lots of paint on your brush. Now practice this on paper first because it's a little bit. It's, it's easy, but it's, it can be tricky. So just take your time, and I'm just going to fill in the spots. I like the way this one came out here. I don't want to go back over that again. So I'm just going to take this and follow my line. Look at your line on the edge of your brush. Look at your line. Stay inside that line there. Now, that's pretty, isn't it? I think we did good. I like it. I'm happy with that, and I hope you are too. So give that a try. Great, easy way, and a nice little trick to do your to do your rainbow. All right. Now that came up pretty good. So what we're going to do next is we are going to take our tape off so we can start working at the bottom of our canvas. All right, so now we are going to take our tape off so we can work at the bottom of our canvas. And pretty, isn't it? 